Hi there. This is Karen, back with a book review sort of thoughts, basically more, on the last book I read on my Kindle, which I just finished, Cold Fear by Rick Mofina, I believe it is. Mofina? I don't know how to pronounce his name. Sorry. <laughs> but I read this on my Kindle, and I just want to share with you the first line of the book because it really uh, got off to a good start. It's about a girl, Paige, 10 years old, and she went camping with her uh, parents to a national park in Montana that borders on Canada. She didn't want to go. She's from San Francisco. She's used to cell phones and hanging with her friends and internet and camping was not what she wanted to do. So let me read the first line of this. Uh, it's titled, How It Began. The last thing Paige Baker saw before fleeing from family's campsite was the blood dripping from her father's axe. Now, that got my attention. And from there, it goes back and forth. It goes a little bit on Paige, in Lost in the Woods, she f took her dog, she had a beagle dog, which I like, I like dogs, so in the story with dogs, you know, there's a good point for me, right there. And this dog goes in the woods, she runs after it, and it goes off the path chasing a chipmunk. Well, I can identify with that, because I know my dog likes to chase squirrels. And so she went and followed her dog, try to get the dog back and it ran away and then she's lost. She's off the path. You don't know where she is. She's never had any wilderness training, no experience out in the woods at all. Uh, her mother grew up in that area and that's why they went back there for her to face some kind of fear that she has. And that's kind of the mystery of the book. What's the big problem with the mother and her past? She has to go there. And so she, the girl gets missing, and the parents don't you know about it for a couple hours because the dad thinks that she went to be with the mother who had gone off in the woods by herself to think, and the mother thinks that she's still with the dad at the campsite because he was supposed to be watching her. So anyhow, both parents, when they realize, they actually go searching for her, and they report her missing they look at the parents as suspects. They think, hmm, because they were the last ones to see her. And they just assume automatically that they might be guilty of something. And so the search and rescue comes, and the police, and the FBI comes in, all looking for her. And the FBI is more focused on interrogating the parents and trying to get them to confess on what they did to their kid. They don't believe that she just got lost, which because of the FBI guy, he had a case in his past that he was fooled by the parents, or, and he didn't want that happening again. So he was very cautious and very, like, overly aggressive in trying, in interrogating the parents and making them feel like they were criminals instead of victims in this. Uh, so it was a very, kind of, a lot of emotion involved as far as if you were a parent and your kid's missing in the woods and then you get attacked by these officials who are supposed to be helping you. So that was kind of the tension in the story. Now the spoilers come. So if you have not read this book, leave my video now. I don't want to ruin it for you, okay? But I do want to talk about the spoilers because it's kind of what makes the book interesting and unique. And the kid's missing for five days. All she had is two bottles of water, a, a couple granola bars, or something like that to munch on, and she survives five days in the woods no training whatsoever. And she's like escaping from bear attacks. 
she did finally find her dog, and that was a great part of the book. I loved it when she, when her dog and her got reunited. That was great. Actually, so he gets loose. He escapes the helicopter. The others are still in there. The search and rescue are coming. Um, okay, and all of a sudden, and he's right at the same area where the girl is. So the search and rescue people are going there. Um, the parents heard on somehow they knew something was up, so they hopped in the helicopter. They're going there where the action is. So it's like a race to the finish here. Who's going to get there first? The psychopath guy or the search and rescue people, the FBI and the parents. And the FBI are like coming after them when they realize the parents are missing. Uh-oh. They got the helicopter. Okay, we've got to go chase them. So it's a big chase at the end. And it all, it's kind of neat because the girl, she had a couple logs blocking her, but the bear was coming. The bear was coming. And so the bear's growling outside. And he's shifting the logs around and he, he's coming in after her. And then all of a sudden, she like gives up. She's thinking, oh, this is it. And then all of a sudden, someone with the axe gets the bear in the head and blood all over and the bear dies and the, and the girl's rescued and here it is the psychopath convict is the one who rescues her okay so he got he he saved her from the bear but then he gets her and now he's playing the same game with her that he did with the wife's sister 22 years ago um and, and they all get there in time and they see her dangling, hanging on, and then he jumps off, and he throws the dog off first, and then he comes after the girl. And it's sad, when he threw the dog off, that I felt really bad and mean at him. They get the girl back up, and happy ending, and they're all okie dokie, and the FBI agent that was really the meanest to the husband, that he was really grueling him the most, He's the one that saves the dog. So yay for the dog. But it was like all too unbelievable at the end. It was like, oh yeah, everything's going to just come right like that, right? And so it, it was a good book. I enjoyed reading it. It had a lot of action, a lot of suspense. A lot of times, a couple, you know, during the Barrett day, you'd think the girls are gone. Or, and then it was, it was good, but... A little unbelievable with the ending and the convict guy and oh yeah he's going to have a key to the cuff and he's going to get out when he's in chains he's going to get out and attack the other and, uh, it just it just was like a little bit hard to believe but apparently this guy Rick Mofina he was a crime reporter and so that's why it was it was very in-depth on the coverage of the investigation and all, which was interesting. And I uh, do plan to read more of his books. If any of you have read him, uh, let me know what books you liked by him, if you've read any. I do want to read some more by him, and he wrote a lot. So happy reading!